Don't Starve is fun, but better menu readability, more exact item placement, and a lag fix are probably going to make it even more so, provided you're on PC of course. I know getting into the two Don't Starve games can be intimidating, so I figured this video would be useful to you whether you're just getting started or you've been in the game for a while. So without further ado, here are five mods I consider necessary for either Don't Starve or Don't Starve Together. Lining things up to be aesthetically nice for your base will always leave you somewhat annoyed with yourself considering there's no grid that item placement is confined to. The geometric placement mod gives you more control over where you place things by delegating what you place on the ground to gridded dots. An awesome mod for everyone who's really exact about how things look. Also I know a lot of you are PC players who use keyboard and mouse, but if you do end up using a controller just know there is a known issue with being able to plant the base of a ship on a shoreline when you have geometric placement on. Quick Swap is a mod that lets you automatically do the required action for whichever environmental thing you're in front of, which prevents you from having to change your equipped tool. Being in front of a rock while you have your axe out will automatically have you switch to your pickaxe, for instance. It's one of those mods that you don't really think about at first, but once you have it, there's really no going back. It doesn't really give you an unfair advantage that compromises difficulty or anything. It's just a really nice quality of life addition that I just can't see myself not using going forward with Don't Starve Together. Easily the biggest issue I've had with Don't Starve Together compared to the first game was the input delay that you have when playing on a world with spawned caves. Provided you're playing by yourself, however, you can actually download a mod called Don't Starve Alone that makes it so caves aren't loaded when you're on the surface and vice versa, completely eliminating any delay in the controls. Quick note though that I did experience a crash when I switched from cave to surface a couple of times. It saved my progress perfectly each time, but whether this is an issue that happens on its own or because of the recent big update is not known as of this time, so. If that's a deal breaker for you, I totally understand. For me, it's great. If you have Don't Starve Together on consoles, as do I, one of the add-ons you probably miss the most when playing on there is the mini-map. The base inventory UI in Don't Starve and Don't Starve Together is already very good in my opinion since they don't take you out of the action much and they're just lined up along the edges of the screen. Anything and everything that keeps me from constantly opening a map to see where I'm going is a plus in my book. As you probably deduced from the footage on screen already, the mini-map gives you a nice little display of where you are in the world in the top right of your screen. Good for navigating to touchstones as a ghost and seeing anywhere that isn't explored really. Combined statuses is easily the most popular mod in the game. It changes the UI so that you get some pretty important information you wouldn't get otherwise, adding hard numbers to meters and things to that effect. Things like the current temperature and whether a full moon is oncoming will be right there for all to see the instant you enable the mod. There's even a dial showing when each season ends for the entire year. Not exactly hard to keep track of anyway without the mod, but still nice regardless. All of the UI is perfectly in art style too, which if you're a fan of this channel, you already know is something I always appreciate. Here's another video I did on Don't Starve Together. I know you hear this a lot on the platform, but thank you so much for watching and please do like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed what you saw today. It really, really does help. There's a Discord invite in the description if you'd like to join. We're trying to hit 400 members and we'd love to see you there. Thanks so much and have a wonderful night. Booba. -boo.